Today we're going to continue with project 1.8 build a body. Our main focus is going to be the view layer or the user interface. What we're going to need to do is download our a18 build a body.aia source file for this project. Once your file is downloaded, you will then need to log into your App Inventor and import the project you downloaded from the previous step. You will need to be patient because it takes a few seconds to import and load the project into the designer view. You will then need to connect and deploy the app to your app companion via the Chromebook or tablet. Let's take a closer look at the components and media files that have been given to us for this project. You're going to need to make sure that the image sprites fit well on your tablet. Sometimes images might look good on one tablet, but might be overlapping or out of place on others. This is dependent on the tablet size and the sizing properties of those image sprites. You can test different height and width properties, either automatic or fixed pixel sizes as needed for your tablet. Please note that the image files are fixed in size, so if you adjust the image sprite sizing properties, the images might stretch or shrink and look a bit funny. Once the size looks good, place the organ body systems in their starting positions as you see fit. Let's go ahead and explore the starter code, which includes black dots that serve as placement points for each organ body system. These are located in the correct location on the human body outline. If the dot seems like it's out of place, that's because the coordinates of each dot correspond to the top left corner of the organ body system image when placed on the body. Program the organ body systems to be dragged by the user and to lock into place on the human body outline when they touch the correct dot. When you program the organ body system to collide with the dots, the organ body system should snap into place and immediately be deactivated so that they do not trigger future collision events after they are in place. As far as additional features that we must include, we need to select one of the following in order to include into our app. We need to either decrement the score whenever an organ body system is placed in the wrong location on the body outline, or we could include a timer that counts down from 30 seconds and displays the times up when it reaches zero. We can also include a solution button that shows the organ body system in their correct location on the human body outline, or we can display a description of the functionality of the organ body system when the user clicks it. Let's take a look at some of these features that are included into our MIT App Inventor source file. The first thing we're going to look at is our media files. What you'll notice is that we have 10 different PNG files that are already pre-programmed into our Project 1.8 Build-A-Body app. Now be careful with some of these files as some are listed with a BW after them, indicating that these images are in black and white. We will not be using all of these images for this project. We will be sticking to all images that are in color. If you would like to choose or change any of those images to a black and white image, you can feel free to do so. Now, as part of the starter code, what we have done is we've taken part of those media files and imported them in as an image sprite. The one that is not an image sprite and is just an image is the canvas. We've taken that body outline and set the background image of our canvas to be the body image. This gives us that overall picture or sketch of the person you see on your screen. What we then went ahead and did next is took the organ systems. This includes the urinary system, digestive system, respiratory system, and brain system. These four systems are meant to be dragged about the screen and placed on one of those placement dots. Now for your placement dots, what we're going to notice is that you also have four corresponding dots. You have the urinary system placement, the digestive system placement, respiratory system placement, as well as the brain placement. As we begin programming our Project 1.8 Build a Body app, we're going to notice that some of those placement dots may need to be moved depending on the tablet or emulator that you're using. So as we get into our next activity, which is going to be setting up those variables, then we will be able to see if any adjustments need to be made. 